Hello guys, welcome to Top Anime Sensei. This video is the continuation video after Diablo and Trouble. So if you have not watched it, then please watch it. The link is in the description. So without any further delay let's start. But before we start, please like, subscribe and press the bell icon for more updates. I just needed to believe they would bring me the best outcomes. I focused my attention back on paralyzing the other worlders. Qfufufufu. Rimuru Sama has seen right through me. He's seriously unparalleled. That goes without saying. Second secretary, don't mind the for now. Go and resolve what's on your mind. Of course, you must have noticed too. That man called Rizul is stronger than you. Are you sure you will be alright? First secretary don't know. Fiu fu fu. I never expected you to worry for me. Second secretary, no. Diablo. I admit that you are strong. Stronger than me. That's why you need to defeat whatever enemy that stands before us to avoid trouble for Rimuru-sama. Isn't that your duty? Kufu. Kufufufu. I never expected you call me by my name. Get going. Leave the rest to me. Even if Rimuru-sama didn't give the order, I would still have faith in you from the bottom of my heart. Shion Dono. Shion shuddered. Just call me Shion. Honorifics coming from your mouth give me the creeps. It sounds so disingenuous. Kufufufufu. Then Shion. I wish you victory in your conquest. You too. Diablo. Xion and Diablo didn't exchange any looks, but acknowledged each other with a few words. Both of them had very strong egos, but they had also recognized each other's strength from the start. Diablo walked away without even turning his head. He gave an order to his lieutenant coldly. Venom. Even if you die. You need to, actually. It's okay if you die. But you must protect these kids. Speaking of which, Rimuru's order never included what to do with Diablo's subordinates. Therefore, there wasn't much to be worried about here. The important things here are the children and the band members, Diablo judged calmly. Ah, uh, yes sir. I honestly hoped he would care for us more, Venom thought. But he wasn't dumb enough to say that out loud. If he had, he would probably have been taken out by Diablo before he could be killed by the enemies. Moreover, it's fine. Shion-sama and Ranga-sama seem to be handling that tough guy. If it's only protecting these people, even we would be more than sufficient. It'd be easier than fighting Diablo-sama were Venom's genuine thoughts. I wish you glory in your conquest. Diablo-sama, shut up. It's pointless for you to worry. As Venom sent Diablo his regards, he was scolded coldly by Diablo. Never mind. That's just how our lord is. A flashback of him being forced into subordination crossed Venom's mind. He quickly shook off these thoughts. Had he run into Diablo looking all displeased like this, there's no telling what would have happened. Venom changed his mood and focused on the mission. Diablo, having entrusted the tasks to his companions, left the battlefield. He teleported at the precise location of his target. The place was a bit far from the Grand Cathedral, located in a wasteland outside Lubelius. A blue-haired beauty in a dark red maid suit was there. Several holy knights lay by her feet. These supposed one-man armies of human guardians didn't stand a chance against her. Long time no see. Noir. I was getting impatient since you've taken your time getting here. I could feel such a fierce killing intent. It's just that I couldn't withdraw myself for a few minutes until now. By the way, please call me Diablo. Blue Primordial, excuse me. You've already gotten the name Rain. The blue-haired beauty. Rain. Smiled with satisfaction to Diablo's response. Indeed. The strongest among us primordials. Red primordial. The great guy Sama has given me the name. Unlike the name given to you by some cheap shot demon lord of unknown origin. Huh? Do you have a death wish? Actually, you are asking to disappear from this world. No. Kyufufufu. Allow me to grant you your wish. While a smile still hung on his face. The smile in Diablo's eyes dissipated completely. The red pupils of his golden eyes turned thin. Locking rain as his prey. Let's go then. Diablo, ah, how exciting. Ever since I learned that you fought against the white primordial on the eastern continent, I wanted to duel you. How boring. If you think you are qualified to fight against me, you are sorely mistaken. Let's confirm that after our battle. As she finished, actually. Before she finished, Rain was on the move. Her knife-like hand was faster than the speed of sound. Yet, it was easily swatted away as Diablo raised a hand. Rain rejoiced. She could finally put her body to use and fulfill her thousand-year wish. Yes, this is it. I'd be really troubled if it were finished instantly. You are always too free-spirited. Even though we are all primordials. No faction. 
no sense of duty. Even when all demons craved a body, you sneered at the idea. You could say that Rain was jealous of Diablo. The lifestyle that he had chosen was unbearable to Rain, who valued law and order. Moreover, Diablo also, unforgivable. He even reached a draw with Guy Sama, this idler who never sought to become stronger. The demon race should follow the natural order of things, acquiring a body and considering evolution as their goal. In order to relieve her dissatisfaction with him for over thousands of years, Rain had gone all out as she closed in on Diablo. Diablo, the black primordial noir, was a special demon. During the ancient era far, far in the past, Rouge and Noir fought for the throne of the strongest. They ended up in a draw. Yet what happened later to the two differed greatly. Rouge was brought to the physical world and acquired a body as well as immense power. However, Noir, almost as if he had denied evolution, remained unchanged over the years. Blanc, John, and Violet on the other hand, were under rather unavoidable circumstances. These three had always hindered each other's evolutions. The three powerhouses were evenly matched amongst themselves, and that power balance was never broken. The Black Primordial wasn't limited by such things, however. He seemed to treat the other primordials like fools and found pleasure in going his own way. And so, tens and thousands of years passed. This was why Rain couldn't forgive Diablo, his contrarian, free-spirited, carefree lifestyle, as well as being recognized by the strongest primordial. Guy, Rain couldn't stand all these things about Diablo. Ahahaha, ha, ha. just as you always say, running away all the time isn't real combat. Looks like you are really only good at running away. Kyufufufu, I will be straight with you. Don't get mistaken now. Against someone like you, I wouldn't even need to use my full power. Moreover, I never intended to run away. Gonna be a sore loser now. Hey, I figure that you probably can't use all your power with your newly acquired body. You know you can't use that as an excuse. Rain began to launch magic missiles with her fists. The magic missile interfered with the world's rules and was turned into the nuclear magic nuclear cannon. Rain could cast magic without chanting. However, Diablo had expected this too. He calmly dispelled all the vicious nuclear magic strikes. Layers and layers of magic barriers and counter-attack techniques were applied. They each tried to break through the other's defenses and land a fatal shot. This was how high-level demons fought against each other. There wasn't any time wasted on chanting. Both of them put forth extremely masterful spells. His time passed. Unbelievable. Did you manage to draw that while fighting with me? Indeed. Rain. Fighting you is like doing paperwork. A fight in which I could see the outcome is so boring. That it's not even entertaining as a game. Rain was extremely shocked. Yet the victor had already been decided. Around Rain were layers of magic circles formed by glowing mantras. They appeared out of thin air as Diablo snapped his fingers. Being caught in the magic circle, Rain didn't dare to move a muscle. If she were to move, Diablo would trigger the magic. And the spell was, this is multi-stage disintegration. But that spell is a hard counter to demons and is extremely dangerous. You could end up dying using it. Why would you use that? Diablo glared coldly at Rain. How can you not even know this, he thought to himself as he pitied her with a cold heart. How boring. If your faith in your master is strong enough, you can even control spiritrons. It's common sense. Are you out of your mind? What kind of common sense is that? Doesn't matter. It's time to send you on your way. I shall let you suffer the most painful death for foolishly daring to insult my beautiful master. Rimuru-sama, reflect well on your crime now. Seven beams of light began to shoot out. While one beam of light contained forces of destruction that defied any attempts to counter it. All seven beams came from all directions and viciously made their way to rain. Luminous was genuinely irritated. It just so happened that when she invited demon lord Rimuru to attend this musical exchange, the traitor Granville decided to ravage the land. Such a miscalculation had been a first since the founding of Lubelius. She wanted to head directly to the Grand Cathedral and decimate all those trouble-making enemies. But out of her instinct and reason, she did not, seeing how much of a wreckage the enemies were making. It must have been a distraction. Louis and Gunther stood by Luminous's side. Neither of them dared to make a sound, fearing that it would further infuriate their master. Yet even when surrounded by serenity, just like Luminous, their hearts were anxious. However, they were not stupid enough to make the wrong judgment of what to prioritize. If Granbell was handling the distraction, what would his goal be? If it's that man, he must know of my treasured holy ark. Then it's not impossible that he's thinking of liberating her. 
The Holy Ark was Luminous's secret treasure. However, there was an even larger reason as to why she had to protect the Holy Ark at all costs. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. And if you guys have not watched my other videos then please watch them. The links are in the description. And don't forgot to like, subscribe and press the bell icon so you don't miss the updates.